All right, let's talk about the data analyst role and what it is in the real world, because most of you don't know. It is the only entry-level data role in the real world. So let's talk a little bit about what it is. So what is the data analyst role? We're going to talk about that. We're going to define it. We're going to give it a definition. What's a job post look like? We're going to look at a job post. These are real world job posts. These aren't fabricated job posts. And we're going to dive into the requirements or what the company wants you to know. We're going to look at an entry level job post. All right. What's the difference between entry level and a regular job post? Entry level means applicants with a year or less or a year or two can apply. Most job posts are not entry level. We're going to talk about the two skills you need. There are two skills you need in order to be a data analyst in the real world. Two core skills. Now, there are many other skills, but there are two core skills. We're going to talk about the path. What's the path you take? How do you become a data analyst in the real world? Again, we don't learn Python or any other nonsense like that. That's not what data, that's not what a data analyst is. They don't use Python. And then we're going to talk about why LogicBot. LogicBot is my company. It's going to give you some examples of why you might want to choose LogicBot over someone else. All right, so what is a data analyst? Here it is. This is from Microsoft MSF. T. This is their definition. Go ahead and look it up. A data analyst enables businesses to maximize the value of the data assets. Yeah, that's all blah, blah, blah. They're responsible for, okay, this is, yep, they're responsible for profiling, cleaning, and transforming data. And this right here, this is a little misleading. Why? Because cleaning data is a word we use in machine learning, and it has a very specific use case. Cleaning data means transforming data in machine learning speak so the model has the best chance it can at producing results, right? This is not cleaning data for data visualizations, all right? Cleaning data for data visualizations might mean removing empty white spaces. It might mean replacing characters. It might mean taking words that are capitalized and moving them to a lower case. Again, this is a little confusing. Don't let it confuse you, all right? Data cleansing is not the same thing as what data analysts do, right? This data analyst is for presentation, right? They're creating KPIs. They're creating dashboards for the business to consume. The machine learning engineer is cleaning data, and it's all going to be ones and zeros or twos or whatever. It's going to look like this. If you showed that to anyone in the business, they'd just laugh at you because they have no idea what they're looking at. It's a whole bunch of numbers. That's not what cleaning data is for the data analyst. All right. So it's a little difficult to understand, but you're going to need to understand the difference to understand what the data analyst role entails. The data analyst works with pertinent stakeholders. All right. These are just business people to identify appropriate and necessary data for reporting. Reporting. Right, you're creating reports, you're creating KPIs, key performance indicators, and you are creating dashboards. Dash, oh my, look at that! Dashboards for the business, the business to consume. All right, that's the key. People are going to look at your reports. They're going to look at your KPIs, right? No one's looking at this over here. No one's looking at clean data for a machine learning model, all right? Uh, and turning raw data into relevant, meaningful insights, right? Raw data is data stored in a database, and it's going to be dirty in the real world. You're going to have to take that data and not cleanse it for machine learning, but clean it up for visualizations, right? So people can read it. All right, so we know what the data analyst is. This is the Microsoft definition. Why do we care? Well, they, they help design the role, so they get to define it. Here's a real-world job as a data analyst for, never heard of them. Three years as a data analyst, business intelligence role, right? This is a different role. Sorry. Competency, okay, working with SQL, query and SQL, right? And working with relational databases, right? That's the number one 
skill, SQL, uh, desire to grow and learn how to model data sets and analytical tools. All right, if that's what you want to call this, I call this presentation layer tools. I'm not sure how analytical they are, but whatever. All right, they're on the right track. You've got two in the real world that are most used, Tableau and Power BI. Choose one of those to learn. All right, familiar with the ETL to e tools? Yeah, no data analysis is going to know, especially entry level. We're going to know ETL tools, strong communication. Yeah, it's all junk. Commitment to high quality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. Manage uh, previous program with no, you don't know data analyst, no Python or R. SQL Mesh, never heard of it. Who cares? All right. So this is what a real world job looks like. And we can see in this post, we have number one and number two in terms of the real world skills. We have SQL and relational databases at number one. We have a presentation layer tool. Power BI at number two. That That's number one and number two. Everything else is secondary to these two skills. Let's look at an entry level job post. One year experience. All right. Data and or data science. Yeah, none of these. This company doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Data analytics and business intelligence or data science. Uh, yeah. Sorry. One year experience writing complex queries. All right. Uh, I don't know where you're going to get that. Where are you going to get experience writing complex queries if you haven't done it in the real world? I, I guess that's why they want one year, right? They want to make sure you have at least a year doing this in the real world. Again, what do we see? We see in, in entry-level roles, we see the king is SQL. Hey, let's put an S there. SQL, he's the king. Without that. You're not going to work in any data role, and that includes the machine learning and engineering role down the road. One year experience working with Microsoft Power or other visualization platforms. There's a good one. I call them visualization tools. At least they get the name right. Visualization platforms like Power BI, right? Knowledge of ETL, they, they want the same thing. All right, well, again, most data analysts don't have knowledge of ETL tools or, or data warehousing concepts, but you might have to get that also. Uh, quality data, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, oral, yep, yeah, and the rest of this is just nonsense. All right, forget the nonsense. Focus on the core skills. What are the two core skills? SQL and the tool you're going to be working with every day, the interface tool. This is where you create the KPIs and the dashboards, and you need to know it, and you need to know SQL. All right, so we've seen two job posts, and right away, the top things they want you to know in these job posts are an interface tool and SQL in relation with databases. All right, the two core skills. Again, I've just droned on it for the last 10 minutes. All right, you're going to have to have SQL skills. And DB skills. Now, DB skills, SQL skills, what I really mean is querying, like select, insert, update, delete, right? Those are the four core DML statements you're going to need to learn. But you also have to have DB skills. Well, what's the, when you back up a, a SQL Server database, for example, what's the name of the file? Well, it's called a dot .back file. This is a backup. Well, what is a backup file? What does it include? If I ask you in an interview, what does a backup file include for a SQL Server database? You need to know. All right, you need to know that it's a single file. You need to know it has everything from the time of the backup included in there. All right, all the objects. You need to know what a relational database is. All right, it's a container for objects. That's what this is. This is a database, and it's a container for objects. That's the definition. You need to know all that. You're going to need a presentation tool, Power, Power, let's see, Power BI. Let's call this PB. Power BI is one of the tops. That's why I have it on my platform. However, you could also use Tableau if you wanted to, right? You could use others, but Tableau and Power BI are going to give you the best chance to get a job. Why? Because they're the most used in the real world. Makes sense, right? All right. What's the path? Again, not hard. You're going to need to learn SQL and DB stuff. We've just been going over and over that. Power BI and Tableau. You're going to need to know one or the other. 
this. Notice this. Cert, did I spell this right? Certification? Yeah. Certification. Notice it's capitalized. Now, why would I capitalize certifications and make it really important here over the other two? Because I've already said these two are, are the most important skills. Because without certifications, no one's going to take you seriously. Certifications are not shit you find on edX and Coursera. Those are certificates of completion, and they are worthless in the real world. Put those on your resume, and I promise your resume will be ignored. All right? I've worked at several tech companies, and when I see that on a resume, it goes right in the trash can. It shows you have no idea what the real world looks like. Certification is something from Microsoft or another big player like Amazon or Oracle, where you learn the information from that provider. And then you go and take a test or it's an online test, right? You go to a proctored location. Once you take that test, you get a pass or a fail. You get a P or an F, all right? If you pass it, then you are certified. Those are the only things we care about in the real world in terms of anything related to certificates of completion or certifications. We only care about certifications, and we only care about certifications from the biggest players. All right? A certification from me is worthless. I have no authority to publish certifications. It doesn't make any sense. All right. Again, certifications are not certificates of completion. You need to understand that. It's critical. You need certifications on your resume. On your, oh, I won't be able to spell resume. Oh, that's too much. All right, you get it? Moving on. Why LogiBot? Why my platform called LogiBot? All right, all right. Because I have everything you need to know about relational databases and about SQL. Because I have all the content you need to know about what DML is, what DDL is, what is a data type, all right? What's a table? What's a database? How do you back up databases? How to restore them? What's an important data type for a number, for a letter? All that you're going to have to know. Even at the entry level, you're going to have to know it. If you don't know basic SQL, you're a host. I'm telling you, you're done. I have this interview sheet, sheet I created that's to be used in conjunction with this course. right? So you download this. Some of it's already filled in. And you go through it and you read it one time. And then you go and take the course. And then you fill the rest of it in from the course. And then you come back here and you memorize every single one of these, I think they're 50 questions, until you understand their importance. And more importantly, until you can regurgitate them in an interview. Technical interviews are stressful. You're going to be asked technical questions and you're not going to get a whole lot of room for messing them, especially what we call the softball questions. If I ask you, what is a relational database, and you can't answer the most basic questions about SQL, I'm going to end the interview. You aren't the candidate I'm looking for at any level, at some kid out of college, at someone who's senior, all right? If you can't get the basic questions, you're done, all right? So I have 50 questions here that you need to memorize for the job interview, all right? No one else has that. I include it for free. I have a power interview cheat sheet, right? I have a power BI interview exam simulator. This is the certification I was talking about earlier, right? PL-300 is the power BI certification that you're going to need to get because it's the only thing we care about for data analysts who are going to work with power BI. And there are other power BI certifications we can care about, but I meant it. No certificate's going to get it done, right? So you can use this cheat sheet in conjunction with the course. Again, this is an interview cheat sheet. If you go for an interview, the technical interview is going to be SQL and Power BI, right? Because those are the two tools you're going to be using. So it makes sense that the person doing the interview for the job are going to ask you lots of questions about these. You're going to have to know them. And I have a Certified Data Analyst Associate course with 58 lessons about Power BI so you can learn Power BI. All right. Why is that important? Well, you're going to need to learn a tool. Now, it is the previous version of the tool. 
right? So it's one version behind. You're going to have to know that. You don't get to say, oh, I only know the most recent version of Power BI. <laughs> That's not how it works. You're going to have to know the current version of Power BI and the previous version. So learn the previous version. And then you're going to have to go find a course for the most recent version, All right? Just how it works. All right, it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of learning. And it's going to take a lot of initiative on your part, All right? Again, the data analyst role is the only entry-level data role I know of. You're, you're not going to get a job as a data scientist or machine learning engineer without coming from another one of these roles. It's not going to happen. That's a pipe dream and a joke. All right, so we've defined what a data analyst is. They work with KPIs and they create dashboards and they work with SQL to source the underlying data. We looked at a regular job post and it had what? SQL and Power BI. We looked at an entry-level job post and it had what? SQL and Power BI with less experience. We looked at the two critical skills, which are what? SQL and a tool, Power BI or Tableau. We talked about the path. You need what? SQL, Power BI, and certifications. And then we talked about LogiBot and why you may want to choose LogiBot. You don't have to, but uh, from a bundling perspective, LogiBot has more than any other platform out there uh, for a real-world job as a data analyst. It just does. I've done it on purpose. All right. All right. Thanks for watching this, and I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, uh, like it, and have a great day. We'll see you soon.